This video will include tapes that I got Monday and media that I got yesterday. And I'm going to show the stuff that I got Monday first. These all came from these these all came from Tom this video stash. Thank you for sending me the, this package. So, and let's get on with the update. My co I've had my copy for the longest time, so I, so I really needed a new one. Now I think of 2005, this is a Hollywood video rental. Post-2015 upgrades. This one's a bootleg. I have not checked the cl opening and closing of this yet. Okay, come on. Close back up. Ugh. Let me put the camera down. Ugh. There we go. Fall from Blockbuster. No print in on this tape, but it says CVC. Well, there well there might be a print date, but on it, but I don't see one on there now. November 1997, this is a CHC copy. And by the way, Tom put this black label on this copy. This didn't originally have that label. Now I get on to the extra duplicates. This one I have on DVD, but I got the VHS of Back in the Collection. April 1st, 1992, twice. I have the widescreen VHS of this as well. Black Reels, July 9, 2004. Widescreen copy. Five, fifth week of 2000. Whoops. Finally got this copy back in the collection. This is Canadian copy. October 8th, 1999. CV, CVC, that's Canadian. This one I also got back in the collection. I have the DVD of this. Forty third big nice honey two and printing, so we all know what this has at the end. This one I have the theater recorded bootleg VHS of as well. June twenty fourth, nice honey eight. Columbia House copy because it says two seven five T. Now we're on to the new films. January 25th, 1989, twice. I'll also check this tape to see what type of black screen death this has at the end. My third Warner Brothers Screen Legends tape. My first two being The Spirit of St. Louis and Along the Great Divide. It's really hard to see, but the first print date is July 2nd, 1990, and the second print date is eight days after that, so July 10th, 1990. Thank you. 
September 18th and September 19th, 1991. I do have the pajama game with this type of label as well. Former from an unknown video store. Whoa, let me show the label. January 16, 2001. It has an error on the label. It says it's from 1996 when the film came out in 2000. Weird. This is a 1941 film renewed in 1968. The 94th day of 1989. We're having a Baby Jane's 1952 film. Damn Yankees is a 1958 film. We're doing 1986. This one I have the 1981 version of as well. 1946 film renewed in 1973. October 4th, 1990. Silent Classics release. This is a 1926 movie renewed in 1954. The, the year is harder, is print covered up by the sticker, but it's February 5th, 1991. Here, this is a one of yours is a really good movie, so I may have to check this one out at some point. Good to finally have it in the collection. The label fell off on this. November thirtieth, nineteen ninety three. This is the original. Nineteen fifty one film renewed in nineteen. No, it doesn't say when it was re when it was renewed. And 12 Angry Men was 1957 film renewed in 1984. September 21st, 1994 for this tape. MGM UA Vintage Classics tape. Pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault. August 1st, 1998. Oh, and it has a receipt from Blockbuster. Let me show that. Yeah, it was purchased for $4.99 on November 2nd, 2000. Yeah, I think it's, that's what it says. Hold on, I just gotta get the it's to get the receipt through. It's kind of hard on these slip covers. That's all. Okay, let me get everything situated. That was the last of the tapes I got from Tom's video stash. Now we're going to get to the tapes and the Blu-rays that I got at the thrift store. At, well, two different thrift stores yesterday. So let's get started. The only... Ex, this is an extra duplicate. Span, I, also, I have the bootleg VHS of this film as well. June 28, 1997. Spanish subtitled. That's why I got it. The next six are new films. Canadian copy. 
I'm not sure what that code means. Does it mean September 11, 1994? If you know what it means, let me help me out. It could be September 11, 1994. But I could I could be completely wrong. Thirty seventh, the Gnat twenty five. Sorry for the glare, it's kind of really kind of bright. I'm gonna we'll see if I can turn it down. There we go, that's a lot better. Wait, let me. Yeah, this is, as you can tell by that little sticker, this is a recycled tape. 44th Big 1990 and the 43rd Big 1994. This is a 1961 movie renewed in 1989. And Looking Glass Wars 1969 movie and, well, actually 1970. And Advising Consent to 37th, the United 25, same looking here as my, as the copy of The Looking Glass War that I showed you. Paramount Classics film. I think this is my, hmm, let me, I can't remember. I think it's my third or, I can't, I think I have three. My third Paramount Classics film. 45th, they get 2003. The first two were the, the, at least on VHS, the first two were the game and you can count on me. I can't remember if I have any others, but I'll have to look. Okay. November 3rd, 1994. Now we can get on to the Blu-rays that I got. I... I got a total of 11 Blu-rays and a bonus item, which I'll show you at the end of the update. Okay, let me get the... up. I'll let you know which ones are upgrades from DVDs. This one and the next one are... This looks like it has some dust on it. I'll clean that off before I put it in my Blu-ray player. <clears throat> hey, hold on. There we go. This, this one originally came with a digital copy disc, but I don't really use those. I don't really mind that it's missing, that that's missing. Here's the user guide. I don't really want to show a, a lot of stuff because I don't, I don't want to make, I don't want the video to be too long. This and the next two are upgrade are DVD upgrades. I did just get the DVD of the sequel to this movie early a few I think it was a few weeks ago. I do hope to get the Blu-ray of that at some point.
Most of these discs are just dusty. <clears throat> I have Pitch Perfect 2 on Blu-ray. There's the Blu-ray, digital copy stuff, and DVD. This one's a pretty cool, pretty cool copy because this is actually a steel book. It has some scuffs on this. You can see right here and right over there, and you can see it's not really. You, there it is. You can shine the light on it. There's a dent on the back. I'm not too upset about that because considering how I only paid like two dollars for it. Here's the Blu-ray. And here's the DVD, which I got from, took, I, basically what I did was I put my, the, the DVD that I already had into this casing, because it didn't originally come with the DVD inside. I did the same thing with this one, which is... I did, the, yeah, I did the same thing with this Blu-ray. I put my DVD copy inside this casing. This, this, like this book that I put poached for my DVD copy, and. Before you ask, yes, I know this doesn't have the digital copy disc, but I don't really use them. I, I, I should be saying that more, but I don't want to just keep saying it over and over and over again every time I show a Blu-ray that doesn't have the digital copy thing inside. So that's why I don't say it in my, in my updates, in case you were wondering. Enough of me rambling. Blu-ray, Regal Cinemas thing, Digital Code, and DVD. And now... Is the final thing that I got, which is actually a, a new format for me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, this is the first time I've ever owned it, one of these in my, at least, at least, yeah, let's get on with it. ATL on HD DVD. And this replaces my full screen DVD copy. Combo, this is a combo disc. This is the DVD side, and this is the, on top is the HD DVD side. I might have to clean the bottom of this disc off. And I already checked, the DVD side is not rotted. And I can't, I can't test the HD DVD side. Because I don't have a player for those. I know I've said DVD way too many times. Last few, couple seconds, you know. So... Let me get it, everything situated, and I'll be right back. That's going to do it for the update. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and as always, thank you for watching.